everybody, this is Ann Betza and welcome to Word for the World. In today's video, I will be simply sharing with you how I set up my prayer journal. It's pretty simple and I don't like a lot of extra things, so it's straight to the point. I know that not a lot of people like very extravagant prayer journals, so if you're like me and if you're just trying to figure out how you can also do your prayer journal, let's get right into this video. All right, as you can tell from this notebook, this is just a plain old composition notebook. Um, nothing special to it, but the reason why I got this specific one is because it looked a little bit different than the regular old black and white notebooks or the solid colors. So I thought, hey, why not? This is my prayer journal. I can make it a little prettier than I usually do. So this is why I got this, just simple, so you don't have to get anything extravagant or the most expensive notebook to start your prayer journal. Just a composition notebook is fine. This is my first page for my prayer journal. And as you can tell on top, it says private. Please do not read. Those are my petitions to God only. And I have this simple first page only because sometimes you just have to spell it out for people. They just open your stuff and read it. And you don't want that, especially when inside of this book is deep petitions of your heart to God. So this is my layout. The first section is date of petition. The second is petition, promise, and answer and date. So today is June 28th, 2018. And my prayer for the today is that I prepare myself on time for the Sabbath. And here is my promise. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So this is just my simple layout for my prayer prayer journal. And it's it gets the job done. And when God, when the Lord answers my prayer requests, I answer what he, I put what he says. It can be either yes or no. Um, cause the Lord knows best. And when I know of my answer, I put the date as well. So I'm going to write one with you guys just so that you, just so that you can see what I am doing. So today is June 28th, as you already see. Um, so I'm going to write one with you guys and my prayer request can be for, will be for, um, that the Lord may guide me. So here I'm done with my with the date, my petition, and my promise. And when, well, this prayer will never really have an answer. I probably put that in heaven, but it's still good that I, that when I do have a prayer request that has a specific timeline or deadline, that I can put the date answered and God's answer. So here is my second layout. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube have this layout. Um, you can omit that if you like, but for me, I do this sometimes and it's when my mind is so hectic that I just don't know what to say anymore. So I just write a little prayer to the Lord and I know that he hears my prayers. Like for example, this says, Lord, I can't just start by asking. I must praise you for being faithful to me, although I have deserted you. My mind is just so hectic and frail. I have not sought you first at all. Thank you for being loving, kind, patient, and long-suffering. Thank you for creating the elements of nature to make me happy and from not withholding from us dew nor rain. Thank you for your mercy towards me. And right now that I'm reading this, I will totally add in Jesus' name, amen. But this is my prayer for April the 10th, 2018. And I don't really, really do this at all. And like I said, you can omit that if you're not that type of person. And if you just want to keep your prayer journal simple simple like i said in the first in the beginning of the video the third way that i do my prayer journal is by writing down um specific prayer requests that people have so on sabbath afternoon sabbath evenings we have prayer 
meeting at my house, a prayer meeting, meeting at my house, and the people who attend have specific prayer requests. So I just use this time to just write down the prayer request that each person has and I pray over it and it just keeps us accountable since it's just a few of us who come to the house all the time and we just remember the prayer requests that were said during the week. And like I said, if you don't have prayer meeting at your house, you can admit this or I mean, if you like this layout, you can do that, but that's just what I do when we have prayer meeting at my house on Sabbath evenings. As a review, my first layout for my prayer journal is just this simple um, table that I have, a date of petition, petition promise and answer. And my second layout is just a simple prayer to the Lord that he may answer my cries. And my third layout is just a simple prayer request that, um, simple prayer requests that people who come to prayer meeting have. And I just write it down. And this is all I have for my prayer journal layout. I hope that you guys liked it. I, I also hope that somebody finds a layout that they will like and use for their own prayer journals. And this is all I have for you all today. I pray that you all are blessed and have a wonderful day. I also would like to give you guys a small update on the garden. Um, I don't know if you guys saw in my last two videos, I believe, but in the previous videos, I showed how I planted a few things around here. I planted tomatoes in this um, little box thing right here. And I also planted some eggplants right here and I believe some more tomatoes. I don't remember what I planted. Um, but it's just so beautiful to see how they have grown so much. There are eggplants actually growing in here. There's one eggplant right here. There's another one right here. And there are quite a few tomatoes in the tomato patch as well. With those tomatoes, they looked super small when we put them in the ground, but now look at how big they are. They are gigantic and there are also fruits in them. And it also shows me an object, object lesson. Even though we may not see the growth in ourselves or even in other people, the growth is happening slowly but surely. Even though you can't see a lot of things, God is working on us, we are growing, and if we allow him, we will bear much fruit.